Hello! Hi! I'm so glad you're here. I'm Ashley. I'm a voice coach, and today is episode four. One, two, three, four. Of me reacting to the guy who didn't like musicals. The guy just, he didn't like them. And, and then they just, you know, popped up in front of him. And he didn't like it. <laughs> um, so last time we watched Paul, the guy who didn't like musicals, he was doing his usual day normal average guy day when all of a sudden everyone around him started bursting out into song including his boss who, who gave us this i want song and he's like i want you to want paul and so that's what we just watched we we just watched jeff blim singing that and just being silly and being himself and so with that in mind let's see what's next are you ready <laughs> doesn't like musicals, Paul, right? <laughs> Emma, you're talking to me. Like a normal person. Uh, yeah, and if my boss catches me, I'll get canned. Uh, new company policy, not only do we have to sing when people tip, but when they enter, when they order, all the time, apparently. Emma, I think there's something terribly wrong with the world today. Yeah, fucking tell me about it. <laughs> I spent the entire morning learning some dumbass new tip song. I'm exhausted. Do you... Emma? 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 <laughs> I feel like there's something sinister infecting Hatchetfield. And I know this is gonna sound crazy and not very scary, but it is scary <laughs> if you think about the implications. <laughs> promise me you'll think about the implications. Okay, okay, I promise. Okay. Emma, I think the world is becoming a musical. Um, Don't say I, anything. Uh, Let it sink in. Okay. Okay. Now, are you frightened? Uh, yeah, I think I am starting to get a little frightened. You should be. You should. You just down and breathe. Emma! Tim! Oh, thank God. Sorry, Paul. I gotta do this no. dumbass tip song. No. Oh, sorry. Get your cup of roasted coffee, your morning cup of joey. We'll make a jam and cup of java mocha latte with the froth for you, Jack. Frappuccino with the freshly roasted mung beans. It's a caramel drizzle mud in a cup. With a drip, 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 and we'll bring it right up. Hey, Mr. Beer. Okay, we've entered the song. Yay! Song! Okay, so don't worry for those that have warned me in the comments previously. I will pair this with the next song. I know the next two songs need to be paired together, like espresso and milk to make a nice little latte. See what I did there? <laughs> Great. So what I, I'm loving this vibe because I've mentioned already before that we're getting Jamie Lynn's office character. Is her name Charlotte? I don't know. I'm not great with names, okay? <laughs> or lyrics, apparently. <laughs> but we're getting this, like, jazzy 20 to 40s vibe. And I'm loving these three girls seamlessly put together. So little doo-wop groups like this. This is like a little a female doo-wop group. They each have their own vocal line. So I was just surprised by the song that I didn't really delve in and see what if they're doing three-part harmony or what so we're about to find that out but I'm loving it I'm loving that 
there is this kind of like 40s overall, 40s, 50, I don't know, back in the day <laughs> vibe going on. Um, so loving that. I think we need to listen to Jamie Lynn, right? Okay. Now that I'm aware that we're in a song, I'll be in the song. <laughs> it's a caramel drizzle, da da It's a caramel drizzle, da 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 I think it's two part harmonies, not three. With a drip, 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 and we'll bring it right up. So there's moments, drip, 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 drip. That's two part. And we'll bring it right up. I think that was three parts. So I think there's times when they're splitting into three parts, but mostly I think it's two parts. Hey, Mr. Business, how do you do? So the girls are now singing, ooh, two part harmony. And then, um, Jamie Lynn has a little solo here. Now, Lauren, Emma, Lauren's character, Emma, is now looking back at Paul. So I'm sure that we're having more freak out moments from Paul. So I'm going to try and catch a glimpse of that, too. Can we get a triple for you? Decaf. What? Decaf. What? Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. And we'll bring it right up. Oi, oi, oi. this job, I signed up to serve coffee and cold, shitty pastries. If I wanted to be in a musical, I'd be in a damn musical. Surprise. Yeah, that's right, Zoe. I was in Bregadoon in high school and I fucking killed it. <laughs> but now I'm just trying to make ends meet while I work my way through community college and I can do that just as easily <laughs> down the street. At Starbucks, I quit. You, you can't, can't quit, quit Emma. Emma. Yeah, I sure as hell can. <laughs> the song is so simple. We'll, we'll teach, teach it to you. Okay, creepy things are going on. Oh my gosh, are we in a musical? What the heck happened to me? It's seeping out into the computer <laughs> and into me. Somebody save me. Somebody save me. <laughs> okay. I think that was like part one of the, the, so this looks like it's called Cup of Roasted Coffee. And the next one I think is also part of it. So we're going to keep going. Um, but I, I love everything about that. The vocals, when you do a doo op like this, you have to be clean. So you know that they worked on this a lot because if you have like three part harmonies, even two part harmonies, and there's only three of you guys, you have to make sure that your part is seamless. Otherwise, because it takes just one person to kind of flub it all up. And you do not want to be that one person. I may know from experience. They did beautiful here. And not only that, I love that there was like a little doo-wop thing. And there was a scene going on along with the song too. So I love that. I love Paul freaking out in the background. I wonder how much of this musical is just Paul freaking out. Is it the entire musical? Because that would be kind of funny. <laughs> or are we going to see a redemption arc or a really strong character arc, like average guy to hero type character arc from Paul? That would be awesome. I would live for that. So then it looked like it went from like the average tip song to the powers of being stepped in and now Lauren's realized like, ooh, maybe there is something going on here. Let's find out. Why everyone here will be singing it soon. What are you talking about? They've all had their coffee. Their apotheosis will be upon them at any moment. Wait, what did you do to their coffee? Fucking gross. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm broken. That happened in just like a split second. So they definitely poisoned the coffee. We're seeing our first kill numbers. Because I was sitting there thinking, like, how can you... I, I knew death was among us, right? <laughs> I, I knew that someone was going to die, but I couldn't figure out how they would die in a musical. I was kind of guessing, like, maybe it was going to be, like, a dramatic scene like you see in musicals, or maybe it would be common, uh, a comedic way, like, in your, you're in town. It's such a comedy that the deaths are very comedic. And then there's some goo now involved, which whenever I put together the channel decor, I, you know, I was discussing it live with those that joined me and they said, hey, maybe your design should have some like goo effect on it. And everyone was like, yeah. And and they were like, you'll find out why later, Ashley, because, you know, I hate spoilers. I hate them. <laughs> but so now it seems like they're using this goo to kind of kill people. Okay. 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 Get your cup of poison coffee. What is this? What is this? The toxic cup on Joey. What? We'll make a twisted cup of java mocha latte with the goo for you, Jack. Jack, Jack, Jack. Hey, Mr. Business. How are you? How are you? How are you do? Okay, so now we have poison cup of poison coffee, which I'm pretty sure is the second part now that y'all are telling me. I'm loving that the guys are coming in now, but I'm that they're not dead. They just had the coffee. So I thought they died, but I guess, cause so I said their apotheosis is upon them. So maybe they're like just controlled now rather than killed. So now they're under the spell. I also want to point out that on this one, we start off with two-part harmonies. So if I was composing this, I wouldn't want to have to, I wouldn't want to write a similar melody and take away one of the parts. I would go ahead and write it as a two-part harmony, maybe three parts here and there, so that it's easier to take away that third part harmony so it doesn't feel as empty when there's only two people singing. So I think that's what was happening here that Jeff Blim decided to do here. So it worked out really well. Um, I'm loving also that Mariah is throwing in all of these really fun rasps. It's kind of like what a great villain voice would sound like. How do you do? All that really great stuff is happening here. They're pointing at her. Creepy things are happening. I think Emma now knows that something else is going on. Oh, they're singing. Why are they all singing? We need to run, Emma. Hold back. Just run. Oh, we'll make a double for you. Hey, Mr. Business. And we'll bring it right up. Yay! Okay, I think that was it. What fun. So if you don't know me, I'm a coffee fiend. So the fact that there's a whole coffee at huge play here, I'm loving that. If you don't know, I have my cup right here. My cup of Joe. It's Joe. Hi, Joe. <laughs> I always have a cup of coffee on me. I can't think without my cup of Joe, without my cup of coffee. So I'm loving that. We started off quick. Like we're only 35 minutes into the whole show and things are already happening. I will say that with Black Friday, it felt like there was a lot of information happening and a lot of build up and then things went crazy towards the end and the ending the ending overall story arc kind of felt rushed and some bits kind of felt like not quite concluded i think they got away the fact that they just basically nuked everyone at the end kind of made up for all of that because the storyline didn't really matter if there was like a complete end if that makes sense so but i'm loving that we're really already kind of in the thick of it yeah it's still the, it's just the beginning if we're gonna, if it's gonna have the same buildup that Black Friday did and we're just in the beginning, I'm so excited to see what crazy things ensue next. All right. Oh my gosh. And the vocals, how fun. The three part harmonies, the doo wops. I, I think it's so timeless and classic that this was in it. And I love that it's straight up musical vibes. Do 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 jazz square. Um, really fun. Hmm. What a great scene. Okay. Anyway, okay. I'm going to keep going. Let's do this thing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on my next episode. <laughs> Bye. Yeah.